oceans house a wide variety of marine animals that may not always turn up as expected. I got him, I got him on video. Here are some of the fishing anomalies captured that no one was expecting to have existed. Is that normal? No. <laughs> the trout, big trout, big trout. The general perception of finding large catches to be in deeper waters of the ocean isn't exactly true. A frequent fisherman using his GoPro camera and KV fishing lures managed to catch not one, but several monster-sized fishes just by fishing by the rocks. That's a monster! The man caught several types of different large fish one by one before letting them go and attempting to catch one another. Who'd have thought that you could make such a huge catch just by fishing in shallow water by the rocks? Hand fishing bait. Hooking a bait might be the most common way to go until this fisherman decided to get personal with its catch. An angler from an undisclosed location caught this juvenile guitar fish, along with some regular bass fish that it was attempting to feed on. The man used the same baby guitar fish as live bait to lure out the parent before making the swap and going away with a large catch. Now, this is indeed quite a catch for someone who resorted to hand fishing. Large Freaky Fanged Fish the bigger this fish gets, the freakier it looks. A team of fishing and wildlife enthusiasts were on the remote Rewa River in Guana, while the team was there looking to catch one of the biggest fish of Parara. After nearly an hour of waiting, they finally hooked their first piera. From struggling to feed onto the bait to free itself, the piera put up a strong fight until it was finally caught, turning out to be one of the biggest they ever caught. The elongated body and pronounced fangs is what makes it the most freaky fanged fish among all the marine predators. Sockeye Salmon Just by looking at this fish, you can know that it's rare and hard to find. A small band of marine life enthusiasts made a trip to the natal streams of Alaska to examine the kind of migrating fish species that are present in that area. Excellent, well done. Yeah, well. You come home <laughs> for the team. After catching a couple of different sizes of rainbow trout fish, they found this very reddish sockeye salmon. That is a male sockeye salmon. Yes. And have a look at this, the transformation. These fish species are prized for their rich flavor and vibrant red flesh and are rare to find since they are Andromeda species that spawn freshwater rivers but spend most of their lives in the ocean. Thank you, I'm gonna let you go now. Giant eel spearfishing. Diving into the water armed with a spear, a man sought to secure his catch for the day. Amidst a few ordinary fish, he chanced upon a remarkable find, a giant eel. While eels are not uncommon, encountering one of such immense proportions was a rarity. Determined not to let this opportunity slip away, the fisherman skillfully subdued the colossal creature from a distance with his spear hauling it triumphantly from the depths. Its sheer size would surely dwarf most individuals. For the fisherman, this extraordinary catch undoubtedly marked a pinnacle in his angling adventures. Panicking Vampire Fish If there is anything worse to see about vampire fishes, it's about them being in total panic. A video footage captured in August 2012 showed several dozens of idle sea lampreys in a tiny pool until they suddenly went haywire when a small dose of repellent was tossed into the pool. A Michigan State University researcher who was learning the behavior and reaction commented that these are some of the most destructive, invasive species of Great Lakes, where the only sustainable countermeasure that exists is this experimental repellent at that time. Imagine the aftermath of all these jumps onto any marine animal or human. Regurgitating Catch This is perhaps why gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins that you might want to avoid. A fisherman was hoping to catch a dozen small bass until he put his trap out and found this large fish that was feasting on all of his catch. As its mouth was being cleared out, it released more than a dozen fishes and crustaceans from its mouth. Similarly, he also from this large eel that regurgitates itself to make an escape attempt from the fishing net. 
Kanduri fish. Of all the intimidating large and scary predators, this is the one that you might want to be on the lookout for. Jeremy Wade shares a terrible experience that a local man suffered when this tiny Kanduri fish entered the local urine stream while he was relieving himself. There's a, a sort of urban legend about a fish that lives in the Amazon that is capable of swimming up a urine stream uh, into a human being. The parasitic fish entered through his private part, took residence in his bladder, and had to be surgically removed. Jeremy also shared that these tiny parasitic fishes often pop out from catfish native to the Amazon basin. It is just an absolute nightmare, you know, a real sort of vampire fish, this thing. These tiny fishes feed on its host like a vampire and vomit upon being caught. Gooey fish. Excitement surged through the two Japanese brothers as they hauled in a colossal fish its sleek form coated in a mysterious jelly-like substance. Determined to identify their extraordinary catch, they gingerly removed the jelly, revealing a creature reminiscent of a rare deep-sea grouper. Its scales shimmered with mesmerizing hues of deep blues and silvers, hinting at years of oceanic exploration. Yet the perplexing jelly coating left them baffled, adding an unexpected twist to their discovery. With puzzled expressions, they pondered the enigma before them, pondering the secrets of the sea and its curious inhabitants. Pillar Octopus This isn't the case of a shy octopus, but rather one that seems to be under some kind of hypnosis. A clip shared on social media showed an unusually giant octopus that was hugging some ancient pillar on the land as if it were overly attached to it. The octopus could be seen constantly moving back and forth around the pillar, either because it was high or under the influence of some kind of spirit. What do you think could be the case here? Feel free to share with us in the comments. Giant Piranha Reeling It isn't just the speed and group feeding frenzy that's terrifying about this giant piranha-like fish, but also its massive size. After coming across an active group of trevorly fishes, the boaters decided to throw in a hand line with bait. Within seconds, they were able to grab the attention of the giant trevilies and successfully pulled one of them out, despite the fish putting up quite the fight. If you ask me, falling into the water with several of these fishes is far scarier than some sharks. Large Alaskan Halibut Considering the size and texture of this fish, it is almost speechless. While on a fishing trip off the coast of Seward, Alaska, a band of friends pulled out one of their biggest and most colorful Alaskan halibut. First fish in Alaska, couldn't ask for a better one. Unlike other large fishes, this one needs a heavier tackle and bait. Hooking onto it also took patience, strength, and skill, which in the end turned out to be a rewarding battle. The halibut is renowned for its versatility in cooking. It's a favorite among seafood enthusiasts worldwide. Mutated Parrot Kicklid. Oh! That wow. Thing is wow. A giant. That's a mondo. This fish either got hit hard on the head or has some serious blister bubble on its forehead, if this isn't the cause of mutation. Two YouTubers that had been looking to make a rare catch hooked a huge parrot kicklid that had a visibly huge bulb on its forehead. There's babies in his forehead! I Look see him it. swimming! While the other fish had a bloated eye. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so horrible. Seeing the fish, both of them were rather confused, leaving it to a guessing game of rather this was a welt of some kind, a blister bubble, or just a mutation sparked by contaminated water. Especially since parrot kicklids are known for their colorful appearance, which makes it a popular choice for aquarium enthusiasts worldwide. Upside Down Shark This shark was either most definitely trying to meditate or was just playing dead to attract potential prey. A group of friends were heading out for a recreational fishing trip off the coast of Cape Town, South Africa, when they noticed this large great white shark that was floating upside down, making exactly no movement. It gave the impression that it was expired initially, until it suddenly started moving in an upside down manner, almost as if it were an opposite day. Oh, 
Could it be that this shark was expressing deep boredom? Or was it suffering from some type of disorder? Is that normal? No. <laughs> Giant crab. Marine life in shallow water areas can sometimes be as scary as the ones that are found in deeper waters. Take this case, for instance. An angler was taking advantage of the low tide by searching around the rocky seafloor for crabs. There's a crab living in that hole right now, but we'll come back to that on low tide. We'll see if we can get him out. Until he found this massive crab that was given away by its tiny juvenile. Using a cane, the crab fisherman was able to pull out the giant crab that was hiding cleverly under a massive rock with not too wide of an opening. Little baby crab just there, you see him? But this is where the big boy will live. That is a big hole. All right, let's have a dig around. After a few minutes of struggle, he was able to pull the defensive giant crab out of its safe haven. Oh my goodness. Oh my good god. Tribal shark fishing. These nomad fishermen who were using primitive tools have proved that it's actually the technique that matters in fishing, rather than state-of-the-art equipment. In the southwest of Madagascar, the coast of the Indian Ocean are home to a people of sea nomads, known as the Vez, who use aging boats and bare minimum tools, such as fishing nets and spears, to catch fishes, octopuses, while focusing more on catching massive sharks. After having a large trap set, these tribe fishermen were finally able to catch a three meter long hammerhead shark that weighed more than 200 kilograms. The Vez respect sharks, and even if they continue to fish them to survive, they do it respecting the balance of the sea. Magnet fish? You can't, oh no. I can't get a hold of it. <laughs> this is the kind of fish that has a grip so powerful that almost makes it look like a natural magnet. A couple that was attempting to reel and catch until they caught a remora that latched itself onto the boat so tight that it wouldn't even budge by the effort of the man. You can't, oh no. I can't get a hold of it. Remoras have a modified dorsal fin forming a suction cup on their head that gives them the ability to attach themselves to larger marine animals like sharks to feed and protect themselves from predators. This sucker, however, thought of the boat to be some sort of predator that it started hanging out behind before eventually sticking up to it when a bait was deployed. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Trojan mudfish. Mudfishes may not seem to be able to put up as much of a fight as their peers in open waters, where in this case, new strategies are being explored. While mudfishing, a man noticed one of the fishes that came breaching out of the fast-drying mud, only to open its mouth and release a huge black scorpion, almost as if it were giving it a lift. Within minutes, another fish popped out and released the same type of scorpion, showing that this wasn't some mistake or coincidence, but rather some kind of pact between the two, making it some kind of amphibious appearance. Valuable Whale Waste If there is any type of waste that holds very high regard in terms of value, it's the whale ambergris. In January 2014, a British fisherman while fishing claimed to have found a whale ambergris off the coast of Angsley Beach in the United Kingdom. We went to a crevice looking for some crab, and Stephen says, you know, what's that over there? Crikey, you know, is that ambergris? Ambergris is a hardened material that is formed in a whale's digestive system, likely from irritation caused by squid beaks, and it is expelled as fecal matter. The ambergris is used as a raw material for perfumes, and its rarity makes it a floating gold. The actual worth of an ambergris depends on how old it is. Land walking fish. While it might be fascinating as to what this fish can do, it is also making itself an easy catch for the land and aerial based predators. In June 2015, scientists and marine life experts were astonished to discover a fish species native to Asia that they named clouding perch. It can crawl on land using sharp spines on its gill opening to live for six days, can hibernate for several months, and is risking the safety of other fish species. Researchers believe that if this fish species spreads throughout the world, it could damage the marine ecosystem. Giant Decaying Fish This entire idea of having to grasp a fast decaying fish to raise awareness is insane. 
an Australian independent MP, Jeremy Buckingham, held a giant murray codfish that was dead and rotting to make an awareness video about the mass fish loss in the country's famous river system, the Murray-Darling Basin. The video soon went viral with the Aussie MP having to throw up while proving a point. This is a national disgrace. This once magnificent Murray cod is dead and it absolutely stinks. The mass fish kill is triggered by blue-green algae, depleting oxygen from stagnant water, leading to suffocation and death for the fish. Giant Whale Animal <laughs> Though this giant may seem like a whale until you have a closer look at it, a video from November 2013 where an unidentified animal was discovered by locals in Vietnam. During a construction project far from the coast, workers stumbled upon an intriguing discovery while digging the ground. The find, measuring 15 meters in length and weighing close to 7 tons, initially puzzled scientists. Although they speculated it might be a deformed whale, the elongated shape of the creature's ribs raised doubts. As a result, the carcass was carefully loaded onto a semi-trailer and transported to an undisclosed location for extensive research. Ancient Colossal Sea Monster If it weren't for the high tide that led to this magnificent discovery, it certainly wouldn't have been found in the first place. In December 2023, a remarkable discovery unfolded at the Jurassic Coast in Dorset, UK, where passing fishermen found the skull of a colossal sea monster. I just found something quite extraordinary with a massive pliosaur. This impressive find belonged to a pliosaur, a fearsome marine reptile that once roamed the oceans approximately 150 million years ago. Measuring two meters in length and weighing way more than it was expected. These waters underneath my feet look the ultimate marine predator, the pliosaur. Requiring assistance from archaeologists, the fossil represented one of the most complete specimens of its kind ever unearthed. Fish with Parasites Sometimes not having to catch a fish is a lot better than catching one and finding it to be ridden with parasites. While fishing, this decent-sized coral trout that was reeled out was found to have parasites inside its nostril. Upon examination, it was found to have parasites all over its body. From anisakis to tapeworms, even more parasites were found embedded all over while filleting. While it might be common for these species to have these parasites, they can also spread to other fishes and even humans if not spotted before ingestion. Traditional Moroccan Baits Talk about creativity! Who wouldn't like meatballs? Young Moroccan anglers displaced their traditional method of catching giant mullets using meatballs as initial lures. Using sardine fish mixed with mud and dried bread until finally rolled into a ball with fishing oil added as scent. This helps attract mullets before they can start using fishing lines with actual baits to catch them. Impressively, the young fishermen display themselves making catches of several different types of fish, all who are of different size and weight. Another mutated marine animal. <laughs> Madia Beach officials in Tunisia were baffled by the discovery of a massive unidentified sea creature resembling a crocodile but with fins, found a few months ago. Despite its ambiguous appearance, some speculated it could belong to a whale species due to its fins. Local experts were unable to offer a definitive identification, citing it to be the doing of some deformation, leaving this marine mammal's true nature a shrouded mystery. Consequently, authorities preserved the carcass in an undisclosed location, awaiting scientific examination to shed light on the perplexing organism found lurking beneath the waves. Frozen fish gains consciousness. Right. 
coming back to life sounds like nothing out of a fictional setting until it starts to happen in reality. In two different instances, fish meat sellers were left shocked when they noticed the sight of frozen fish that came back to life. The footage shows the fish taken out from a cold freezer before being placed in a warm bucket of water, where within seconds its movement can be seen. According to marine biologists, fishes are cold-blooded creatures, which helps them survive even in the coldest of temperatures. Stealing Shark A spearfishing diver that was aiming to catch a huge fish from within its group while teaming up with a surface fisherman almost made a huge catch until a hungry shark appeared from the deeper, dark ocean and started to feast on their catch. The diver had to battle the shark from a distance for several minutes, using only his strength to somehow pull his speared catch out of the shark's grasp. The tug of struggle ended with them successfully reeling out the large catch, where the shark took a huge cut for itself. Perhaps the shark was taxing the fishermen that may have been fishing within its territory. Bitten Swordfish Catching this swordfish almost was a great catch until it was found to be partially eaten. A crew of fishermen with two swordfish found one of them to have small chunks of its flesh missing on its entire body. This could have been the doing of several small fishes. Sharks are more likely parasitic creatures called lampreys. Lampreys are jawless fish resembling eels that feed by attaching to other fish with their sucker-like mouths, feeding on their bodily fluids, and sometimes even chewing away the fleshy bits. Skeleton of Dragon Considering the close resemblance, one can't argue dragons are just a myth, even if their structure broke down throughout millennia. In March 2013, a fisherman from the Shandong province made an extraordinary catch, a massive skeletal structure resembling a translucent dragon. The unusual discovery found in the water prompted the fisherman to alert local news crews who quickly arrived to capture images of the intricate skeleton, comprising 153 joints. Some observers, including the Japanese news outlet Bayakin, questioned the authenticity of the find, suggesting the possibility of hand-carved bones due to their flawless color and shape. However, researchers countered these claims, asserting that the skeleton likely belonged to a mammal rather than a large fish, sparking debates over its origins. Glass Bottle Fishing Just like the sardine meatballs, this is another fishing technique to catch mullets. An Asian fisherman was displaced by his method of fishing using three glass bottles filled with wheat flour mixed with a scent of a certain kind. Within minutes after dipping, all three bottles are pulled out, showing a trapped mullet in each one of the bottles. The powerful scent and wheat drive them immediately, trapping the fish that are unable to turn around or back out. River Fish Hole It's not just the new taste of bait that makes this fishing technique robust, but also the luring part. A juvenile angler displays his skill of quick fishing using two different types of bait and mud fishing hole next to the river. He first uses a sardine attached to a bottle with a cord to lure the potentially large catch into a deep fishing hole, trapping it within. It is at this point that he deploys a second bait of a raw whole chicken that is secured onto a chain with a hook. After suspending the chain into the hole, he finally catches a decent-sized catfish. Puffing up Though this might seem like the fish is suffering from a seizure of kind, Rest assured, that isn't the case here. This puffer fish, who after being taken out of the water, started to puff up in a way that it was suffering from a seizure. Within seconds, it puffs up like a balloon, popping out all its thorny tissue. Seeing how poisonous and spiny it is, the angler decided to drop it back in. Snake Among Fishes Regardless if you are on land or the sea, the chances of running into a snake is never zero. A fisherman was processing the contents of his day's catch, only to find a sea snake to be among them. Since sea snakes are known to be highly venomous, the fisherman cautiously grabbed the slithering reptile before tossing it back into the sea almost immediately. After all, the chances of fatality of a venomous bite would have probability of fatality. Malaysian Monster 
Amid the monsoon, Jeremy Wade embarked on a quest to capture the elusive Malaysian tapa fish. Taking cover in turbulent waters, this goliath of the waters became an elusive target, earning its reputation as the Malaysian monster. Jeremy's window of opportunity was fleeting, a now or never moment to conquer this formidable foe. With precision and patience, he deployed his fishing line, We gonna fish! Bracing for the challenge ahead, suddenly a mighty force tugged at the line, signaling the arrival of his quarry. Reeling in with determination, Jeremy beheld the creature's imposing form, its gaping maw, sleek body, and haunting eyes. The name Malaysian Monster suddenly seemed fitting, a testament to its formidable presence in the depths below. Dry Season Fishing Having to find sustenance to survive during extremely long droughts may seem like a challenge that you don't need to look any further than dry season fishing. A farmer in Sri Lanka showcases how to find fish even from the dried swamps or rivers. He inspects several dried mud slabs, looking for one that looks uplifted and finds a lungfish. Of all the fishes that live in the swamps, lungfishes have one of the most robust, naturally suited body mechanisms that breathes air and can survive in the driest temperature. The fish lives on its muscle while it temporarily shuts down until the dry season ends. Giant Bluefin Tuna Forget the idea of looking for lost treasure or whale ambergris when you could have better luck at making a fortune just by catching the right fish. That's the job. Oh my God. <laughs> a fishing crew in Ireland was headed out for a catch when they noticed a huge pod of bluefin tunas that were in some spiral encirclement in the middle of the ocean. The crew threw in their fishing lines with bait and managed to find themselves a fortune-sized catch. The giant bluefin tuna that they caught weighed 350 pounds. This tuna was only one of the many of its kind that were in pursuit of garfish, with each one of them being a whopping $100,000. Eel Fishing A fishing crew that were looking to catch a squid or an octopus but found this large eel that took their bait. Just as they pulled out the line after it took the bait, this eel quickly swallowed a potential catch that initially took the bait. In doing so, this moray eel got caught up in the fishing line and surfaced. Despite its long, scaleless body and powerful jaws, it wasn't able to break free until one of the crewmen pulled it out and cut it loose before releasing it back into the water. Back to life. No, this fish hasn't expired, even though it may very well seem to be. In a video captured in October 2019 in Zhuangshan, China, a remarkable scene unfolds as a seemingly lifeless fish suddenly revives. After a man pours water onto a dried fish lying on a stone surface, astonishingly, the fish's mouth and gills begin to twitch and move. While most fishes tend to have slow working metabolism to survive in extreme temperatures, but this fish broke the record. Stealing Humboldt Squid Back in July 2015, a crew of Russian fishermen experienced a surreal encounter at sea when they spotted a massive squid feasting on their haul. Rather than engaging with a fierce struggle for the entire prey, the squid opted for a more calculated approach. With jaws firmly clamped onto the catch, it savored its meal. Despite their efforts, the fishermen couldn't reel in the catch. Employing a long pole, they cautiously prodded the cephalopod, deterring it from consuming more. This unusual incident showed the intelligent behavior and predators' selective feeding habits by catching them all in a surprise. Open Discussion This picture and video was taken on January 12, 2014, in British Columbia, Canada. A man who was attempting to set an example and demonstrate how to catch a fish, despite the river being completely frozen, once the hole was made and a fishing line with a bait was set, it wasn't much longer until something extremely powerful took the bait. The man was surprised when he found a massive Alberta trophy pike that was caught on the hook and couldn't break free, despite the huge set of teeth. Thank you very much for watching the video. Share in the comments and do like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. 
Thank you once again.